In this video, we're installing a great Windows alternative for gaming, Zorin OS. It's fast, reliable, and secure. Built on the same Linux foundation trusted by the New York Stock Exchange and even the Space Station. Whether you want to revive your old PC, enjoy smoother gaming, or get more privacy without data tracking, Zorin OS does it all. Let's download it, install it with Windows, and see how powerful it really is. Hit like and subscribe button, let's get started. On the Zorin OS website, scroll down and click on Download Zorin OS. You'll see three versions, Pro, Education and Core. We'll go with the Core version because it's completely free and perfect for gaming and everyday use. Click Skip to Download and the download will begin. Once it's finished, head over to the Rufus website. We'll download this small tool to create a bootable USB for installing Zorin OS. Once you've opened the Rufus program, Plug in a USB drive with at least 8GB of storage. Next, click on Select and choose the Zorin OS ISO file we just downloaded. Leave all other options at their default settings and then click Start. When prompted, choose Write in DD Image Mode and click OK twice to begin creating the bootable USB. The process will take a few minutes. Once it's done, restart your computer to begin the Zorin OS installation. When your system restarts, keep pressing the boot key. In my case, it's F11. Once the boot menu appears, use the arrow keys to select the USB drive we just created and press enter. If secure boot is enabled, you might see a blue screen called MOK Management. Simply choose continue to boot and press enter. Next, when the grub boot menu shows up, select try or install Zorin OS and hit enter to start the installation process. At the beginning of the process, Zorin OS will automatically run a quick disk check to make sure everything is working properly. Once that's done, you'll enter the setup interface where you'll have two options, try Zorin OS or install Zorin OS. We'll go ahead and select install Zorin OS using the mouse. Next. Choose your keyboard layout as per your preference and continue. You'll now see the installation option screen. On the updates and other software page, make sure the option install third-party software for graphics and Wi-Fi hardware is checked. This ensures that all required drivers for your system are installed automatically. Also keep the configure secure boot box selected and set a simple password. You'll need it once during installation. Now on the next screen, installation type. This step is very important, so take a moment to understand what you're doing here. Choosing the wrong option can erase your existing Windows data, so make sure to follow carefully. If you select install Zorin OS alongside Windows Boot Manager, make sure to back up your Windows BitLocker key first. You can click the link shown on screen for instructions because if you skip this step, you could lose access to your Windows installation. But since we're doing a dual boot installation on a separate drive, we'll choose Erase Disk and install Zorin OS instead. This option will keep your Windows disk completely intact and install Zorin OS on the new drive we've selected. On the Erase Disk and Install Zorin OS page, I'll simply select my spare SSD drive and leave my Windows 11 NVMe drive untouched. Then click Install Now. Before finalizing, you'll see a summary page showing exactly which drive Zorin OS will be installed on along with the partitions that will be created. You can take a moment to review these details carefully. Once everything looks good, click Continue to begin the installation. During installation, you'll be prompted to select your time zone and on the next page, you'll need to enter your computer name and create your login account. The installation time will vary depending on your system speed. Once it's done, click on Restart Now. While your PC restarts, press the boot menu key and you'll be able to choose between Windows or Zorin OS from the boot options. Even if you don't press the boot key, the grub menu that was installed with Zorin OS will automatically appear 
giving you the option to boot into either operating system. When you boot into Zorin OS, you'll see a nice boot animation followed by a smooth transition into the newly installed desktop with the welcome screen. Here, you can click on Start Tour to explore all the features and get familiar with the system. There are multiple ways you can configure your launcher in Zorin OS. You can choose the classic start menu style, go for the Windows 8 Metro look, or even switch to a macOS like dock, depending on your preference. The jelly mode is also pretty cool. It makes your windows wobble when you drag them around. And there are plenty of other customization options that let you tweak Zorin OS exactly how you like it. Alongside all these great features, Zorin OS also includes a software store where you can browse and install apps, tools, and games to boost your productivity. It also comes pre-installed with LibreOffice, a great open source alternative to Microsoft Office, along with many other useful applications ready to go right after installation. So, as we mentioned at the beginning of this tutorial, we installed Zorin OS specifically for gaming and we're running it side by side with Windows. Our test system is powered by a Ryzen 5 8600G APU with RDNA 3 based Radeon 7060M graphics, which is a pretty solid integrated GPU for smooth 1080p gaming. That's it for this tutorial. Hope you enjoyed watching. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next episode.